was only disclosed because the parents took, she, took the initiative to find out where their daughter was. New tonight, a teacher and a coach at Faith Academy arrested, charged with having sex with a student. Investigators say they first learned of the allegations last night when Jonathan Sowers met the teen at a Walmart in Sims. They say the student's parents felt something was wrong when she wasn't home within an hour, so they called police. Our Lacey Beasley is standing by now at Metro Jail. And Lacey, you're learning that Sowers was arrested on Faith Academy's campus today. Yeah, that's right, Lenace. In fact, he still had a tie on when deputies took him to Metro Jail this afternoon. Now, this investigated st investigation started when deputies say the 16 year old told her parents she was going to the Sims Walmart to buy school supplies. Well, as time passed, her parents went to the Walmart to check on her. They found her car, but not her. Taken in cuffs right here is 44 year old Jonathan Sowers, head covered and down, keeping silent. Investigators say he's been a science teacher, Bible teacher, and soccer coach at Faith Academy for years. According to MCSO, Sowers met the student at the Sims Walmart, picked her up, drove to a different parking lot, and had sex in the car. She then walked back to her car at Walmart. Meanwhile, her parents were frantically searching for her. She hadn't returned in an hour and a half, so they went out, they, they found her car, uh, did not find their daughter in the car. Um, they went inside the Walmart, they could not locate their daughter, so they become very concerned and they notified uh, the sheriff's office and wanted to file a, a missing persons report. Soon after, a Sims police officer found her walking near Moffett Road. That's when investigators say she told them she was having a sexual relationship with Sowers. I believe he has been uh, a teacher uh, at this school for quite a number of years. Um, I believe she's been there for maybe two or three. Uh, they know each other, obviously. She's a student in his class currently. Um, and I believe this has been going on for, for several months. Now, this is Jonathan Sowers' first mug shot at Metro. He's now facing two felony charges, one count of a school employee sex act and one count of a school employee sexual contact with a student under 19. And if he's convicted, he could face 10 to 20 years behind bars for each charge. Now, MCSO says the student went to Sowers' home once and all other interactions were in parking lots. Now, I reached out to Faith Academy multiple times and have yet to heard back. And I'm also learning tonight that MCSO has obtained surveillance video of the teenager getting into the backseat of Sowers' car before driving away from the Walmart. Reporting live from Metro Jail, Lacey Beasley, Fox 10 News.